Hello everyone, my name is Kyle Price and I am the founder and artistic director of the Kuroga Lake Music Festival. I am speaking with you today regarding the use of the Sherman's Amusement Park property in Kuroga Lake, New York. For years, Sherman's was the Adirondack destination for individuals, families, musicians, dancers, artists, and socialites to convene and create memories together. This property and its events helped develop a special bond for all those who sang, danced to the bands in the dance hall, laughed together with the newest and oldest of friends, ate ice cream at the front ice cream stand, went on the carousel, Ferris wheel, and walked the property surrounded by many or surrounded by the recollection of many. Regardless, this place is something special that brings us back to our roots of feeling childlike, simplistic joy, friendship, and peace. Follow me on this journey as I walk you through my vision for Sherman's and how Sherman's will recapture the attention of not only the Adirondacks, but the whole nation. Our proposal, which was released to the public just over a month ago, has captured the attention and excitement of the Adirondack region, receiving a number of write-ups in the Leader Herald, Daily Gazette, Fulton County Express, Catherine's Corner, and a recorded interview featured on WENT Radio. The proposal was quickly shared and featured extensively on local community group webpages and received great support and feedback from members of the community, along with artists from across the country including prominent individuals such as Yo-Yo Ma, Allison Stoner, Mary Peckham, director of the Perlman Music Program, and numerous faculty members from prestigious universities and institutions. I seek the public's support in this project, which will transform Sherman's into an internationally renowned center focused on inner arts collaborations between artists of all kinds, scholars, and their communities. Similar projects such as the Banff Center, Tanglewood Music Center, Tau School of Music, and the Chautauqua Institution have sparked a wealth of business opportunities in their respective towns, creatively utilizing their location's beauty and spirit to garner a unique international reputation. The Kuroka Lake Music Festival has already developed national recognition, attracting visitors, nationally renowned artists, and media attention to Kuroga Lake. Our national following has impacted local business in the town of Kuroga, Canada Lake, Johnstown, Gloversville, and surrounding areas. We seek to do four specific things. Collaborate, create, educate, and innovate. While the center would have a local community focus, its implications for education could be far-reaching by showcasing arts as a valuable resource within American education. We would use Sherman's as a year-round creative arts center, featuring the main halls as a lakeside performance venue and gallery space at which to exhibit the newly created artworks. The main hall would also feature a dining hall, restaurant, operated by resident culinary artists and other members of the artist community. There are many possibilities for residences and housing for the artists. Artists may choose to reside within the town of Kuroga community via house rental, cabin rental, or host family. Artist residencies could span from days to weeks to months at a time depending on their project, travel schedule, and contract agreement with the center. Our number of artists and scholars would range anywhere between 10 and 25 artists on property at a time. This would be depending on the event and length of project residency. Another possibility would be developing the property to include living spaces for the artists. Consequently, the artist would reside on the property to help further utilize the potential of the venue. Any temporarily unoccupied artist living space would then be treated as guest rooms open to visitors and audience members of the center and Kuroga Lake this space could be treated as an overnight option via guest fee. 
This would also give the guests the unique opportunity to be a part of the artist community during their stay and see inside the life of the artist. Along those same lines, the Center will have an intensive community engagement initiative, which will actively bring our artists, ideas, and creations to the community around us to share and inspire others. We look to engage the surrounding communities, building partnerships with the following organizations. One Church, Johnstown. Lexington Center, Gloversville. Wells Nursing Home. Glove Theater, Gloversville, SUNY FMCC, and more. In addition, we would hold performances and workshops at local hospitals and schools and perform extensively at local restaurants and bars. Our education initiative would lead us to establishing dream centers where we would focus on providing lifelines for local kids by taking their aspirations seriously providing them with mentors and connections to help facilitate a path toward their goals and dreams. Additionally, we look to start an arts therapy initiative. This initiative would include weekly seminars held by practitioners of Alexander Technique, Feldenkrais, Body Mapping, Yoga, and other members of the Integrative Medicine and Somatic Education community. So it's great to have a vision, but how do we make it happen? One spreading the word, telling people how important this is and what good it will bring. Secondly, write in support of the vision to town officials to make this happen. Money aside, we need their support in order to make this a reality. Thirdly, financial support and funding. And how do we achieve this? As a projected nonprofit organization, revenue to help support town, property, and the center would come through grant sponsors, advertisements, merchandise, concerts, the restaurant, prepaid dinner concerts, farm stand, vendors, exhibits, and facility rentals, weddings and dances, and also our festival weekends. The festival weekends will feature numerous activities during the day and concerts in the evening. We would also invite outside groups and artists to come and collaborate with community artists on concerts and events at the lakeside venue. Other sources of funding including crowdfund sites such as Kickstarter, we look to utilize once the board gives recognition to this vision as the direction they wish to head. Additional support comes from connections from alumni networks at Harvard University, Cleveland Institute of Music, and University of Wisconsin-Madison. Specific grants we look to pursue include New York State Council of the Arts grants, Chamber of Music America grants, National Endowment for the Arts, Fusion Foundation, Fulton Montgomery Arts Grants, and National Public Radio's From the Top organization, which provides a number of connections to its alum for projects of their choice. To learn more information regarding further project details, I encourage everyone to visit the Kuroga Lake Music Festival website and see the proposal, which is nine pages in length. I also invite you to like us on Facebook at Kuroga Lake Music Festival. And please come see us in action. Be a part of the fourth annual Kuroga Lake Music Festival held between July 20th and August 17th. I also urge all of you to attend the July 22nd meeting at Kuroga Town Hall, 7 p.m., to hear our public presentation for the proposal of the Sherman Center for Collaborative Arts and Education. Our vision for this town and for Sherman's is steeped with a hope and purpose of inspiring a sense of community. Our facilities will retain Sherman's as a place where all feel at home. So have a say, Kuroka. Let's make it happen.